just wanted to go um, through a bit of an update um, of what's gone on the past few days. So, um, yesterday, hold on. So yesterday, um, we had made the decision um, that we were going to put her down if she lived to, the, it was like to 1.30 or 1.45 we would have brought her and we were going to put her down. Um, but there was a lot of things involved with that. There was like a lot of things with that. Um, we had to choose between cremation, wanting the ashes, not wanting the ashes, burying her, like, there, it, it was just too much. We really, really did want her to pass away at home. And so basically what happened was that we were gonna bring her at 1.30, 1.45. And she started getting this, like when she breathed, when she exhaled, um, she had this like little clicking in her chest. Um, so we kind of realized that she was probably going to pass soon. And then she kind of started meowing, which she hasn't done in days, and so we realized that um, we weren't even gonna make it, you know, to the vet, um, which is fine because that is what we wanted and that's why we waited so long. Um, so she ended up, um, my sister needed to be, we were in the basement, so she needed to be on the second floor because it was hard, It was I was with her the entire time, it was very hard to watch very hard to be around um, and so me and my mom were kind of primarily holding her and taking care of her and my dad was kind of off to the side on the stairs um, but my mom was kind of like she had her wrapped in a towel kind of folding her like a baby she put her back down on the floor and she kind of like took her last breath we spent a whole bunch of time with her um, before she passed away we were telling her how much we loved her and saying all of our favorite stories of her to, you know, to her. Um, and we were just trying to tell her everything was okay. We were trying to keep, you know, soft voices so that she felt calm. Um, and then a little while later, um, pretty soon actually, within like 20 minutes of her passing away, my dad dug a hole in the backyard and we buried her. And um, we put a piece of slate that my sister wrote on. I'll show you a picture right now. Um, but we put a, a temporary um, gravestone and we are on Etsy looking for one to be personalized for us to have a nice like granite like um, gravestone. They're only $35, dollars so they are not bad. Um, so soon after that, Adrian came and got me. I'm currently at Adrian's house and we're celebrating the 4th of July here. Um, and I have just been making sure, I was having, I'm not gonna lie, last night I had full-blown like anxiety, panic attacks, very bad, um, but I feel better today and I've been talking to my family so everything is a little bit easier so I just wanted to let you guys know and kind of give you guys a bit of an update as to what happened so um, I think it's like 3.30 or something, so I'll be seeing you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's about 8 o'clock, um, Adrian's family's been over since like 4 or 3, um, I'm just leaving alone to go to 7-Eleven, um, cause I want an, an Arizona, but, um, 
uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get an Arizona and get something for Adrian. Okay, so I got some Arizonas and I got coffee for myself, even though it's eight. Um, to be honest, it, okay, so if I wasn't on the medication I'm on, yes, it would keep me up. Um, the medication, I, I was trying to explain it to Adrian's brother in a way, um, that you guys might understand. Um, like, if you guys take melatonin, if anybody takes melatonin, um, it's, it's pretty easy to fight, you know, it's, it's not crazy, um, strong and it's pretty easy to fight. Like, you could fight it and stay awake until it passes and, like, it's relatively easy, um, but with the medication I'm on, um, there's literally, and I've tried fighting so much, um, sometimes, and there's literally no way that you can fight and stay awake. There's no possible, possible way. Um, so drinking coffee this late doesn't really keep me awake because I could take my medication now and be asleep in an hour, even though I ch say chugged coffee, but... Oh my gosh, I, while I was talking to you guys, I looked over, there's a beautiful sunset. I gotta show you guys. Let me see if I can get a good view for you guys and I'll show you guys. But I just wanted to update you guys. Um, I've cried twice today because we've uh, tried to pick out a, like, a statue and a little like plaque thing to put in the ground for sugar. Um, no anxiety attacks, I was just crying. Thankfully, um, the anxiety attack last night was weird. It was random. Um, I miss my baby so much already, but anyway, um, I just wanted to update you guys and I'll show you the sunset in a few minutes. Too bad we didn't see them. We, we can't like see, see them. all of it. All of it, yeah. So it's beautiful. Oh man, I really wish we could. Hey guys, so um, I came down to put some of the final touches on my jellyfish. Um, I still haven't sewn the bottom on yet because um, I wanted to give you guys a little like, um, like idea of what I've done with this so far. So basically with this, you can't, you're not going to be able to see it. But with this, um, instead of it being just one string, one loop, um, I decided to braid three pieces of um, the yarn together and then put huge knots on the bottom and strung it through the top where I started the uh, the circle for, if you can see it, for the body of the jellyfish. So I started here and worked my way down here. Then these I have put on separately, um, that I've done them individually and then have uh, secured them on. I'm going to do a few, I'm only doing two of the big thicker ones, but I'm going to do a few more of just these straight um, yarn, like untouched yarn that's just kind of um, secured on. So. I had originally um, done just this with my first one, so it didn't have the extra strings. But if you look at a picture of a jellyfish, they do have like these strings that kind of come off of them. So I did add that. Um, and then additionally, <laughs> this stuff is called batting, and it's basically what we use to stuff the jellyfish. So like I will cut off uh, pieces at a time like that and then just kind of push them into the jellyfish so that the jellyfish is nice and um, like fluffed <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is kind of finish out these strings and these other tentacles and then I will sew on the bottom which is basically identical to the top um, but it's a lot smaller and I'll sew that in with the needle and with the yarn. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I am gonna be setting up the batting now and then in a bit I'm going to be um, closing it and mailing this off tomorrow and I'm really excited for my friend to get this. 
Um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of like a behind the scenes of what I've been doing um, since I've been talking about them a lot, so. Yeah, this has helped me immensely not focus on pain, and it's great. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he looks so happy, Adrian. Yeah. And I'm just about to... <laughs> So, this guy on the bottom, very excited, and then Numergos will be in.